Well, guys, we're back. Now, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the pictures that I was showing you, but uh, what, I, what we're going to do is... Um, and that that positive impact will carry on and have a domino effect. And that pleases me. What you want for your life and what you want your legacy to be when you're gone is completely up to you. I had a sister that passed away of cancer, breast cancer. She, uh, they couldn't get it all. They tried. And when she passed away, there, everybody and their brother was saying what a wonderful person she was. And there were family members and friends that didn't care for me much because I said, first of all, I loved my sister, and that's the truth. But secondly, my sister wasn't a nice person. Her heart was in the right place, and, and I know that she tried, but the reality of it was she led a very hard life. She didn't really care for anyone much more than herself and she made some really bad choices and I loved her and I was very close to her and I think about her often but my opinion now of her is the same as my opinion was before she passed away now I'm sure that those people who knew her who knew her well also know that what I'm saying is true. She was a good person, but she wasn't a nice person. I miss her. I even miss her not being nice. So what do you want out of life? Where do you want to be in five years or ten? And when you do pass away from this earth, what is it that you want people to remember? I've recently been watching a lot of stuff about Steve Irwin passing away. And I have to agree with Boheme on this, and I don't mention his name because he's Boheme. I mention it because he said what I was thinking. It's no shock that Steve Irwin passed away in the way that he did. Steve put himself in danger very often. Steve put himself in positions where he could get hurt and had been hurt very often. So it's not a shock that an accident happened, something didn't go right, and he passed away. It's a shame. Steve did do a lot of good in this world. Steve was very, very serious about animal conservation. He educated people about all kinds of animals in the world, not just crocodiles but all kinds of animals. There were times when he was a little goofy and that helped entertain us. And there were times when his excitement seemed feigned and not real. But overall, I think Steve Irwin gave a lot of us an education about something that we would not have otherwise had an edu education about and I know for one that I've learned an awful lot about an awful lot of things by watching The Croc Hunter. I hope that Terry and his children uh, will continue on in Steve's path and, and will continue to educate people uh, about animal conservation. That's my hope. 
I don't know that they will, nor that they care to, but I hope they do. When you're out here watching videos, instead of worrying about, is it a corporate sponsor, or is it Zen Archer just sitting in a bedroom talking? Concern yourself more with, what are you getting out of it? And are you getting something that's worthwhile out of it? Be it the experience you have watching a soap opera, laughing at some guy being an idiot in a cowboy hat smoking a cigarette, or somebody who sees where this can go and is trying to take advantage of that. Concern yourself more with what you get out of it instead of what's on the other side of the camera. Because when it all comes down to brass tacks, does it really matter who's on the other side of this screen as long as you're getting something out of it? As long as you're being entertained or thinking or getting involved in the excitement that somebody else is having? Does it really matter? As long as you're getting something out of it, you win. No matter who the people are that produce these videos. Now I know that it'll cause some skepticism when you see somebody like me with cameras flashing around them. Or when you see somebody like Paul or uh, Renato doing a, a video that, that seems like he's awful interested in the money. Or what's this character? I think a lot of people don't understand Paul. And I believe, I believe he's a real guy. And uh, I believe he's a lot like me. He's very reactionary. And crazy at times and does things without thinking. I could be wrong. Maybe Paul the actor is acting. But that's okay with me. Because I like to watch his stuff. And if I get something out of it, and if it makes me think, what's so bad about that? At any rate, that's my two cents. Until next time, this is Zen Archer saying, you be well.